and they're off. Level enough break with on the inside Highland Sam showing as is on the outer the favoured Knight to King and between them is Mr King and it's Knight to King and Chris Hayes who settles down into the early lead from Mr King in the same ownership in second. A length then to Ligon Street who tracks the favoured third on the inside of Firm Handshake. And there are a couple of lengths in front of the back four who are Sue Eagle with uh, Highland Sam on the inside. Smote and the back marker of the eight runners is Gallardos Yellow. So as they make the downhill run to bring them towards the turn at the top of the track. And the lead is with Knight to King and Chris Hayes leads by about a length, length and a half to Firm Handshake with Gary Halpin in second taking a keen enough tug in the early stages to follow third on the inside by Mr King and Gary Carroll with upsides that is Ligon Street and Dylan Byrne McMonagall. A length then to find Sue Eagle and Luke Racketeer with on that one's outside is Smote and Jack Carney with the back two are Highland Sam and Alan Purse the back marker Gallo Del Cielo and Robin Donahue Lee. So they make the swing at the they've made the swing at the far point of the track and less than half a mile to race and Knight to King the leader, firm handshake, moves up on the outside to within half a length. They're a length and a half in front of Mr. King in third. Ligon Street is in four with pushed on, pushed along behind those in five is Sue Eagle and they're in front of Highland Sam and Smote with the trailing with the, the other runner Gallo to Seattle just beginning to trail. Swing in, two and a half furlongs left to race. It's Knight to King over on the far side, trying to bag the inside rail. Towards the centre of the track is firm handshake who comes under pressure. They're chased in third by Mr. King with Ligon Street struggling to make an impression in four, but racing down inside the final furlong and a half. And it's Knight to King who goes on and leads by some three to four lengths. Mr. King chasing in second. Ligon Street tries to get going in third ahead of firm handshake. But it's Knight to King who's out in front and racing inside the final 150 yards. It's Knight to King who's sprinting clear for Chris Hayes. He's going to win this, an impressive opening performance by Knight to King and wins by about eight lengths in the end. Second was Mr. King, third Ligon Street. Firm handshake is fourth, fifth was Sue Eagle. Seen a very good performance on debut with the regally bred Knight to King doing it in very good style on debut. Joined by trainer Dermot Well. Dermot Well done, that was a lovely performance. It was, um, you know, he's a, he's a really nice coach working exceptionally well. All the family take a little bit of time and we're not really with him. Uh, but he's come forward the last few weeks. With the heavy ground the spring of the year, he's a very good action horse. That's why I didn't bother with him the spring of the year. And uh, please God, we've lost to look forward to him. Indeed, of course, I mentioned he's really bred. Uh, you trained at um, night time to win the Guineas on heavy ground by Galileo, of course, back in 2006. That's quite correct, and you won on the grand up. I started all, I think. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I had to get that with him. I did. Yeah, look, it's a great family for us. But getting back to this cult, um, he's always shown his talent. He was very immature, both mentally and physically. But he's just coming forward nicely. And I'll have a chat with Morris Regan and we'll decide where we go with him. I won't make any decision until I see how he comes home, comes out of the race. But obviously we're going to stakes level with him now and, and uh, exactly there's many ideas in my mind. You mentioned a mental aspect, you know issues with that, uh, kept it very simple, Chris, how the gates. He's very straightforward. I said if there's no pace, make the run on him because um, that same I said the one thing we didn't want was kind of a messy race, no pace. Look, he was out there in front, he's a lot to learn. I think he jumped the road, he said he looked at everything. But he learned a lot today and he's, uh, as I said, he's a real good call for the making. That change of leads to foreign pole when you read that down was quite taken. Yeah, it, it was. It didn't surprise me. He, he quickened up the big the other morning like a horse that would be very effective even over six four lots. How does it compare to the rest of the family? Obviously, you've trained a number of them. Obviously, Gayat is a half-brother physically. Is he a different type? or? I think he's pretty similar to them. They all progress with age. They all get better with age, and they're all very, very good, thank God. And uh, hopefully he'll follow their footsteps. <laughs> and given the way in which you're on today at the trip, mile and a half, please go. Really, as I said, he showed so much pace the other morning at home over six furlongs. I was surprised in some ways, in some ways, at the pace he has. But um, yeah, he's ready to get a mile and a half. Lovely performance. I've got to ask about Tahir. How's she been since the Guineas? Yeah, Tahir has come out of the Guineas well. You know, it was a a little bit quick to run her back after the English Guineas, but um, she's taking it well, and at the moment we're all set for the coronation. Indeed, and a dry spell coming up, I suppose, would that be a concern going to Ascot, or just play by ear with the weather? We play it by ear with the weather. We Look, we'd hope that they'd watered well. It's very, very dry, quick ground. But you know, it was lovely ground of the Curra, the same as at Gorham Park. The reason I came here today with this cold is because the way they prepared the track, and it was beautiful ground here in Gorham. 
And on reflection, looking at the guineas, that turn of foot once she got a gap, that's what marks her as being special. Yeah, she has. She's got the wonderful turn of pace. Uh, she's in good order, and the current plan, as I said, is all set for the coronation. Is there any other progeny left out night time or on the ground at present? Uh, there most definitely is. Okay. There is indeed, and uh, very nice full brother to Gaeth, a two-year-old Taraji that we like a lot. Interesting. Look forward to seeing you now. Well done today. Many thanks. Appreciate it. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.